Glenn Close is a Hollywood icon who's conquered stage, screen, and television. She's headed back to Broadway to play the legendary Norma Desmond in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Sunset Boulevard. It's a role she first took on with great success 22 years ago. It won her a Tony Award. Glenn, nice to see you. Nice Good morning. Nice to see you, Matt. This is so exciting. Before <laughs> we get to this, can I just ask your comments about Mary Tyler Moore? Oh, Warren? my gosh. I've just, I mean, my heart goes out to her family. Um, she was iconic, I think, to all of us. Her incredible sense of timing, her sense of joy, her, I mean, she just will be, she's up there, you know, with the greats mm -hmm. and um, part of our culture forever. Thank you for your comments on that. Norma Desmond, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, this is an incredible role. You said one time, I read, and I hope I didn't get it wrong, mm -hmm. that the, the role of Norma Desmond haunted you when you left her. Yes, she what, did. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, I had a six-year-old daughter, and all of a sudden, from being, you know, every night, this amazing, larger-than-life woman, I, I went back to making, you know, sandwiches for lunch and <laughs> driving Annie to school. And it was like, it was as if Norma was across, sitting on, in the easy chair going, children? <laughs> Sandwiches? Where am I? <laughs> Could you do the whole rest of the interview in Norma Desmond, please? <laughs> that would be fun. You, you said you always look for something in a character to love. Yes. What do you love about her? Oh my gosh, I love... Uh, you, you kind of, you delve down and you try to understand the why of someone's behavior. And in that uh, journey, in that journey of discovery, I always find a place to love them. Let's just remind people who Norma Desmond was. Right? She's yeah. an aging movie star. Yes, what, the, the greatest star of the silent screen. Right, and um, you played her 22 years ago yes. on Broadway. I'm, I'm walking gingerly here. You are now someone with 22 years more life experience. That's it. Do yes. you view her differently Absolutely. at this stage in your life? Yes. Yes, I mean, it was, that was the luxury of going back to a character as rich as Norma Desmond. And, and to have 22 years of life and 22 years of learning my craft, more, you know, more of that. Um, and I went in London said, let's just start from the beginning. And I feel like a totally different person what's, than I did 22 years ago. What's it like in to get, role. I'm sorry, what's it like to get back into that kind of mental and physical mode of being on stage and, and the lines and the singing and the making sure you're in the right spot at the right time. How hard is that? <clears throat> it's very challenging, particularly in this role. I think anyone who's ever attempted to play it will tell you it's physically challenging and it's vocally challenging. And when you did this the first time back in the 1990s, this was one of the reviews. Ms. Close is by this point quite literally out of this world, a supremely ridiculous, unbearably pathetic monster. Uh -huh. Inevitably, critics are going to look this time and compare your performance to last time. Does that put some kind of pressure on you? Only when people like you talk <laughs> sorry, about it. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, no, uh, you know, I mean, it's a little, it's a, it's a little, the, the pressure is that I did it here before. When I went to London, I'd never done it there before. So, um, yeah, I've, I've come home and it will be a different take and hopefully people will like it as much. I, I've, I've talked about who she was and the kind of iconic character she was. Obviously, she is someone who dealt with aging in, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, have we come a long way in terms of, and I think you and I actually talked about this in a previous interview years ago, yeah. about what opportunities were available for more mature actresses in Hollywood. It seems to have changed significantly, or would you disagree with that? I disagree with that. Really? If you're talking about Hollywood as the studio system, yeah. I don't think it's changed. If anything, I think it's, it's, it's even more difficult. I think where it's changed um, is in the world of, of television, in the world of cable, in the world of all these, you know, wonderful miniseries and series where, where you have all the, a lot of the top writers are now going into that arena. Also in, in independent film. Um, but, but in as terms far of as actresses in Hollywood, movies, you still think there's an expiration date? Yes, I do. I'd love to be proven wrong. You still I have a good choice of roles? I, I mean, I do because I do... I do anything that, uh, that the script, even if you don't get any, you know, if, you, if you're paid for scale, you know, I, I, yep, I mean, in the last couple of years, I think I've done about 
five or six independent films. Just because uh, you love the work. I, I love the work and I like the script and I like the character. But as far as big, you know, you get a good hefty paycheck, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's challenging. So I, I think the story of Norma Desmond is as relevant uh, as ever. Well, you are going to be great in it again because you certainly were 22 years ago. <laughs> Glenn Close, it's a pleasure to see you. Oh, Matt, it's lovely so to much. see you. Great to Thank have you. you here. And by the way, she's going to be back a little later on with Kathy Lee and Hoda. And we should mention Sunset Boulevard opens at the Palace Theater on February the 9th. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.